Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at the Lensen 100 watt flexible solar array. This array is very well engineered. It's crafted using some fairly high-end materials and it has some excellent features such as a portable stand built into the panel that you can change the angle of the array to maximize your solar yield. The stand is actually kept on board in its own nice little packaging, allowing for quick setup of this solar system. I went with this solar array so that I could fabricate a small solar charging system. This particular system was uh, spec'd out to charge uh, my trolling boat battery for remote applications when there's no AC power available. What I've done was marry the 100 watt flexible pole solar array with an Echo Power 20 amp MPPT controller. For now, we'll focus on the solar array so I can show you just how well engineered this little system is. I think the main feature of this solar power charging system is the portability of it. It's pretty incredible for a 100 watt array. Total thickness for this system is roughly three quarters of an inch. It's in fact a little bit smaller than I'm measuring. It's 0.68. Pretty incredible. Fairly lightweight. I don't know the exact weight. I would say maybe seven or eight pounds if I was to take a take a guess. Um, but I'm sure if uh, you're interested, you can look at the company website and take a look at the specs yourself. This also comes with MC4 connections. The panel that I have. There's two versions available. One with a solar charger controller that is sold with it one without it. That's what I have. I in fact wanted to procure a 20 amp controller um, for future expansion. Uh, hopefully I can get two of these panels going and maximize my solar yield in the field. What I'm going to do is set up the stand system so that you can see just how easy it is and see how fast I can get uh, charging my battery. Now it is just a simple aluminum rod system, but somebody had to engineer this to be lightweight and easy to use. And what I can tell you is it is very clever how they implement the stand. It looks like the sun is going to cooperate with us today. Now I'm on my third one already. I am definitely not an expert at this. This is really my dry run. I'll tell you a little bit more about the system. This can actually be used with small portable solar generators that are commercially available, which I'm looking to try to procure in the near future. Hopefully I can do a little spot on that. For now, take a look at the performance of this guy. Now typically with your solar charger you hook up the battery first. What I've done was took 8 gauge booster cables, not the highest quality, they cost me about 20 bucks. I cut off the terminals or the, the clamps and mounted them within the solar controller. So I plug this guy in first. Make sure my controller boots up, which it does. It's telling me that I have power. Then I'm going to hook up my solar controller to my solar array. Now these MC4 connectors at times can be a little bit tricky 
they're more of a permanent connection than a quick connect because they are waterproof. And that's it. The controller is saying that I have an array hooked up. And it says that I'm getting 21 volts. 20 volts. So the bonus of this guy is that I have a fairly lightweight solar array, which I think is probably the hardest thing to spec out. There's many available, but this guy is, seems to be the highest quality that I've seen so far, using the latest technologies in solar panel manufacturing. Like I said, you can actually change the angle of your panels each time you want to match the angle of the sun. And what that does is generate a better yield. You can imagine if your sun is at, uh, let's say, some specific angle, and you have your panels like this, you're losing that intensity as the sun's rays are coming into here. If I change the angle, which seems fairly simple, but in the field, you're going to have to get some wood or get something to make sure you maintain that angle during the charging cycle. So, like I said, this is quite clever, quite ingenious, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to this in the field. So, hopefully if you guys have any questions, you can uh, post your questions below and see what I can do to answer them. Thanks.